Welcome back to my channel. Good morning. My name is Tamisha and today we are going to get into some Irish sea moss. So if you're not familiar with what sea moss is, it is a, well actually it's right here on the counter. Let me show it to you. <laughs> so um, this is what Irish sea moss looks like. It is from the ocean. It is, it grows in the ocean and is harvested and it has a lot of amazing benefits um, that are great for your body and your health. So um, this is harvested and imported from Jamaica. This is raw Irish sea moss. I don't know if you can see through this bag, but it is full of sand and dirt and salt. Um, so this has to be cleaned, but you can tell this is straight from the ocean and this is what you want your sea moss to look like. But, so we're gonna go ahead and make some today. I'm gonna to show you how to clean it. We're going to um, soak it and then we're gonna blend it into a gel. So I started using sea moss, well, my first time trying sea moss, <laughs> cause I only used it like maybe a couple of months. But my first time trying sea moss for about maybe close to two years back, it was one of the things that I really noticed um, the benefits of it pretty early on and because sometimes you take things and we're like are we really like is it really beneficial are we really feeling anything or is it just hyped up i will say definitely not hyped up um you will notice the benefits and you don't really have to take a lot of it so cmos is said to have 92 of the 110 minerals that our body is made up of and i'll try to post um, pop up on the screen somewhere just some of the stated benefits that, um, that comes from taking Irish sea moss. Another thing I want to mention before we start um, getting into cleaning our sea moss is that wherever you are purchasing your sea moss from, whether you're already buying the jars that someone else already um, processed or if you're buying it raw like this, try to be, <clears throat> excuse me, try to be as mindful um, and aware of how that sea moss was grown, how it was harvested, and how it was processed. You know, you kind of want to be in on that because without like really getting deep into it, what I will say is that anytime something um, becomes popularized and um, trends and it actually is beneficial and people start to jump on it, like sea moss, not, no, let's like be clear, sea moss is not something new. It's just become more mainstream you know but it's not new at all like this goes back real real deep okay but um anytime like certain you know certain people start to pick up or companies start to pick up on the fact that oh people really like this right then it starts to be well let me start mass producing and taking shortcuts you know to get it get it out there to make a buck right and when that happens sometimes sometimes not all the times but sometimes those shortcuts end up shorting a lot of the benefits and a lot of the and not only that maybe it's not as ethical or something like that but so just be mindful <laughs> just be mindful of where you are purchasing your sea moss from a colander in the sink let's go ahead and get our sea moss in and we're going to give this a good rinse so i'm going to put it on cold Rinse everything off, and you want to just kind of get into hands in there. You know what it feels like on your hands. You ever been like um, swimming um, at the beach, and then your feet touch? You can be like, "What is that on the bottom of my feet?" <laughs> That's what it feels like. Okay, so you just want to clean this thoroughly. And I got some lime sitting off over here to the side because after we finish cleaning it, then we need to soak it. Um, and what's going to happen is this is going to actually, you can see that good, this is going to actually expand in size um, when we let it soak. But, and we're going to let it soak with some of the lime or let, um, just so that it can kind of take away some of that ocean flavor as well. Our sea moss is clean and I just gave it a good wash for about maybe three to five minutes, just letting it run in the water. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get it into a bowl that we're going to allow it to soak in. So you want to have it in a bowl big enough to give your sea moss a chance to expand. I don't know if you can tell already from what I showed you in the plastic, um, the Ziploc bag, but you can tell it's definitely already expanded in size um, just from washing it. 
and we're gonna let this soak for about 12 hours, it's going to expand a bit more. So just put it in a bowl big enough that you can cover it um, generously with water and give it a chance to, to um, expand on you. So what we're gonna do now is I have some water right here. Um, every tutorial or video I've watched said don't use tap water. So I have a bottle of um, this uh, distilled water and I'm just going to give that a good pour, a good pour, pour it in. <laughs> We're just gonna pour it in to our sea moss. And I'm gonna give it just a bit more, make sure it's covered. Okay. All right, so that should be good. And then what I'm gonna do now is, you can see I have these limes back here. I'm going to um, squeeze some lime juice in it. Just kind of roll. Hopefully this is a lime that has some good juice in it. Y'all ever cut into like a lemon or a lime, no matter how many times you roll it or whatever, it still comes, it's like no juice comes out of it. <laughs> so um, in some videos I do suggest um, using key lime. I, I didn't see key lime in my store, so I'm just using just some regular lime. But we're just gonna just squeeze that in. And this is gonna help to mask some of the flavor. Some of the, you know, the ocean flavor. <laughs> just make it a little bit more pleasant. I actually don't mind um, the taste of it. I, I know some people like you can put, oh, that's another thing I said and talk about what you can actually um, how to take your sea moss. So you can put it in smoothies, um, you can put it in your tea, you can put it in soups, um, you can pretty much, you can do, you can put it, you know, topically on your face. Um, you, you know, does say smoothies already? Yeah, so you can just um, put it in any recipe. I think I've seen some people put it like in their oatmeal in the morning. Um, you could do that as well. For me, I just, I just take a spoonful <laughs> out of the jar. I take a spoonful out of the jar and just do it that way. Um, it doesn't bother me, but you know, you can kind of just look up and see how people use it. But um, the flavor doesn't bother me and the texture doesn't bother me as well. And if you blend it really good, it kind of has like the consistency of like applesauce. So after you blend it and you store it, you can um, store it in your refrigerator for like three to four weeks. Um, this this amount should last about three to four weeks, depending on how many people in your household are taking it. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Okay, and let's see. And then you can just take your limes also and um, clean them first too. These are washed, <laughs> you know, because you're gonna put the whole lime in there and just stick them down in here okay all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to get this covered we're going to get this covered and let it hang out in the refrigerator for about 12 hours it depends on how long you want to let it sit um you can do as little as four hours um if you don't want to wait that long it's up to you it's completely up to you four to 12 hours should be good so let me get some um, wrap for this and then I'm gonna pop it in the refrigerator and we will come back when it's time to put it in the blender. I just wanna pop in real quick and show you guys how much there are sea moss has already expanded. This is after two hours and you can see, I'm actually gonna need to add a bit more water because um, it's no longer covered or submerged in the water anymore. But um, yeah, this is after two hours. This is why I say make sure you put it in something that's big enough to give it a chance um, to expand um, for the few hours that it's gonna be soaking. All right guys, so 24 hours later, um, I lost track of time. Our sea moss has been sitting for 24 hours. I know I originally said I wanted to sit for 12 um, <laughs> and I did not get back to it last night. So we are in the next morning and what we're gonna do now is we need to go ahead and just drain this off. And then I have my um, Nutribullet right here if you have a blender. Whatever type of blender you have is fine. Um, I only found my Nutribullet in the boxes <laughs> this morning in the garage. So we're going to use this, but let's go ahead and get this blended. 
and let me just get just a close-up shot of what it looks like 24 hours later you can see like this has expanded drastically so um let me get this into my colander real quick and i just want to just pour that off and then we're gonna give it just another quick little rinse We don't need our limes anymore. We want to take those out. Okay. All right, so I think I'm gonna have to do this in a couple of batches um, to fit into my Nutribullet. Let me get a paper towel over here. Just to set that down on. Okay. All right, so what we want to do is just go ahead and get, I might do like half of this with our sea moss. And we're gonna to have to put some more fresh water back into here to blend it. So let's see, yeah, that's about half. So we're gonna get our water. And remember, we're not using tap water for this, so you can use your, um, I'm using just a distilled water, spring water, filtered water, alkaline water, <laughs> whatever works best for you. So I think that looks good. And you wanna blend this until it is smooth, almost like an applesauce consistency. about maybe 15, 20 seconds of pulse on the Nutribullet. This is about the consistency that we want. I'm gonna let it pulse just for like another five seconds, um, just to be sure. And this is actually, as it sits um, and refrigerates over time, it's going to thicken more like a gel. But this is what you want it to look like, like a smooth applesauce texture. We don't want any lumps or anything in it. So just continue to eye it. Okay, yeah, so you just wanna to continue to eye it and make sure that it's nice and smooth the way you want it to look. So that looks good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually get these into some um, jars. I have just some standard size mason jars right here. I think this is like the, this, I don't know, what is this? The 16 ounce jars. So I have these, these are just what I usually just keep like my herbs and stuff stored in. So. We're gonna see how many jars we can get out of eight ounces of raw sea moss. Okay, so we just wanna go ahead and just pour that in. You see how smooth that pours? That's what we want. Okay, so we got one jar. We might actually get maybe two or three jars out of this, but we still gotta blend that second half as well. Okay, we'll pour this and go ahead and start working on the other half of our sea moss. Guys, so our sea moss is complete. Um, from that eight ounce of raw sea moss, I was able to make these jars, which is about 48 ounces. So one jar, I would say, um, if it's just you taking it, if you're taking like a teaspoon, whatever your tolerance is, a teaspoon, a tablespoon a day, um, one jar should last you in the refrigerator maybe about three to four weeks, depending on how often you take it. Um, if you're you know, making it for your family, this should be enough to last your family for a month. So that's not bad um, from just eight ounces of raw um, Irish sea moss to get this much out of it. So you're just gonna just put your lid on it and just keep it sealed in your refrigerator. And like I said, you can put it in your tea, you can put it in um, soups. I just take a spoon, 
take it to you know take it take it back take a spoon and i'm good so however you want to do you just plenty of sea moss recipes online as you can see how to incorporate it into your daily routine but if you have any questions i'll be more than happy to answer them um for you down below in the comment section if you are a sea moss user um put it down below in the comment section and let other people know how it has benefited you um adding it into your daily routine but until next time guys you take care and i will see you in the next recipe bye